right, so I promised the girls the beach, even though it isn't as warm as predicted and a little bit overcast and windy, we're going to one of our spots that we like to take the dogs that is dog friendly. So Zephyr Shoals is the beach just north of Zephyr Cove. It is a small area. The sand isn't quite as soft and fluffy as other beaches, but it is a, a beautiful small little cove that is dog friendly and we do love this area. to keep a beach in the winter is a little bit more challenging than the summer as it takes about a mile walk to get into this area. One of our favorite places to keep a beach. In the winter, you tend to get it all to yourself. summer you can park much closer but a lot of times the parking is full as it gets very busy in the summer. Where are the rocks then? People as far as the eye can see. Bella's on watch duty. Make sure everything's going okay. What's this guy doing, Bella? Kiva Beach is just past Camp Richardson heading towards Emerald Bay um, and near 
the Talak Historic Site. It is a beautiful beach uh, with soft, fluffy sand, and it makes our list at number two in top dog beaches around Tahoe. The East Shore Forest Service beaches are some of our favorites. Now, the access is much more challenging, as you can see through some of this terrain. There's it's steep, it's rocky, it's loose at points, and to get to some of these, it's at least one to one and a half miles to get into these areas. It's cruising. Nice job.
right, so I just wanted to make a few comments about the video. The first thing is that, unfortunately, probably the, the first beach, the Zephyr Shoals Beach, will probably be run by some sort of company, just like many of the other beaches around town, such as Baldwin Beach, Pope Beach, um, and Nevada Beach, and Zephyr Cove, just because of some of the issues with 4th of July, but that has not been fully confirmed as of yet, but just wanted to let you know that. Um, the second thing is is that when we filmed the winter part uh, at Kiva Beach, we were not aware that you need to have your dogs on leash in El Dorado County at all times, but that is definitely the case, and we do that now at all times now that we know that. Um, and then the third, if you are interested on in more specific de details on exactly how to get to these beaches, I will post that in a members-only video here shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed.